Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. Know that I am. And today we are going to finish up grabbing all the collectibles in South Boston. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to take this road. And we should have all the gunners dead from Quincy here. So we shouldn't have to worry about them. Disarm that mine. Then we're going to take a right. And then a quick left. Let's grab this buff out. You want to be careful. Most of the time there are some robots over here that want to murder you. Even though they say they're saving the commonwealth, they are not. Well, I couldn't save you, lady. You were in the doorway. Sorry. <laughs> What'd you have on you? Well, not much. 38 rounds. Same with you. Meh. Let's go up to the Adam uh, Cat's garage. I like that we can see the Pridwin off over by the Boston airport. That looks really cool. The Adam Cat's garage looks pretty cool too. We're going to listen to some hollow tapes and chat with a few Adam Cats, Zeke and Rowdy. And then we'll be helping them with a quest today. Let's go listen to the first hollow tape here. First, uh, actually turn off the radio and pick up the Hot Rodder magazine. This is a new paint for our power armor. Now let's go ahead and listen to the um, Cat's Poetry Night. All right, Cats, I call this one Metal Heart. <clears throat> metal legs, metal arms, metal heart. Tool of war, tool of peace, tool of art. I get into my suit and I strut through the wastes. No fear, untouchable. The flames on my suit burning, rising, glowing. The flames are hot, but I am cool. I walk, I run, I ride. My hands are strong. I am a man. No, more than a man. Because, man, I have a metal heart. Let's grab the unarmed bobblehead on the front of this car. Bingo. And then we'll talk to Zeke. Maybe. Zeke. Hey, nosebleed. Just where do you think you are? This is Adam Cat territory. Cool name. Intimidating. Go back to Nowheresville where you belong. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. You don't look like you've ever used one. Oh, <laughs> you got me, Jack. You got me. All right, all right. Hey, you're one step closer to Coolsville. Now, let's put your skills to the test. 
My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. Let's turn off this radio real quick. And then we're going to listen to the second Cat's Poetry Night holotape. I wrote this one about this thing that happened to me the other day. I call it Hard Shell. It's on me. I walk on the beach, doing my thing, staying cool. A thing breaks the surface of the dark water. A pair of claws under a dome of gnarly shell. I'm caught. Off guard. Beady little eyes look at me from deep within the shell. Beady little eyes, full of hunger, full of rage. I pull out my gun and shoot! But the bullets only bounce off that crusty shell. Those beady eyes narrow as the shell devil grows angry and angry. He comes at me faster than before. A bullet finds its way through a crack in the dome. The demon screeches in pain. Those beady eyes close. I reap the spoils from the kill! And I think this thing and I, we are kind of the same. For I, too, am soft meat under a hard shell. Thank you. I'm sorry. I laugh every time I hear these hollow tapes. It's ridiculous. Let's steal this bowler's hat. Just because McCready hey, likes if it. If they cared about it, they wouldn't have left it laying around. Uh, so, uh, I'm Rowdy. And I, uh, I wrote this po poem. You're doing fine. What's it called? It's called An Ode to My Hammer. You got this, Rowdy. A an Ode to My Hammer, so heavy and nice. Oh, I I'm sorry, I can't do this. Oh, Rowdy, come back. Can someone turn off the recorder? They have a ton of radios in this fucking place, by the way. Let's talk to Rowdy. Rowdy. Saw you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? Here to help. Tops, from the looks of it, I'd say boss man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants old Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. The only cat in me is the one I cooked up for dinner last night. Don't sell yourself short, Buster. I've been putting off hauling myself over the pond to work for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up, part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. No problem. The Warwick folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills, they give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. Let's um head back. We're going to backtrack a little bit. About to take a break. We're actually going to be heading somewhere over there. Towards those cabins, if you can see them. Disarm this trip, uh, laser trip, or I don't know. 
laser beam, <laughs> whatever it is. We're going to disarm it. And then there's another um, mine over here. Be careful, we're coming back by the quarry for Vault 88. There's a ton of raiders over there. Again, if that's the DLC you want to do, have at it. That just tells us where those cabins are that are right there in front of us. Just trying to find them. Should be coming up to a road here. Be careful. The There are quite a few Mar Meyer Lurks. Jeez, Meyer Lurks over there as well. When we come back, there will be a uh, Meyer Lurk King. Should be at least. Is someone there? I can hear you. Get me out of this thing. I want out. Is someone in there? Let me out. Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. How did you end up in there? I hid in here to get away from the bomb. But there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs were over 200 years ago. You're that old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please, I don't want to die in here. Why should I trust you? I'm really tired and lonely. Can you just open the door? Okay, okay. I'll let you out. Yes. I've been stuck in here for so long. Hurry up. Shoot the door off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Every... Uh, it's really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. Hey, Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll take you someplace safe. I just want to go home. I want to find my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. There better be some gold at the end of this rainbow if you catch my meaning. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. Let's backtrack again. We're actually going to backtrack to where we started at the beginning of the episode. I want to be careful. There's normally a Meyer Lurk over here. Well, Meyer Lurk King, that is. The highway is totally wrecked. Cute kid. Is he for sale? Look, I don't want any trouble. Just trying to make a living. So you want to sell that kid or not? Never. Billy stays with me. Suit yourself. Thanks, mister. You're all right. Well, at least we didn't have to fight a Meyer Lurk King. Not that it would have been that big of a deal. They're not that hard. We're almost to Billy's house now. We just have to come back through where the gunners were in Quincy.
We're going to take a right. And then we're going to take a left. Take a left right here, and his house is right in front of us. Mom? Dad? Are you in there? Billy? Billy? Son? Is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my god! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. The open We're road ghouls, and a loaded Billy. weapon. The radiation so changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. Yeah? You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give them a peaceful life, or die trying to save them. That's the man that tried to buy me. Oh my god, they want Billy. They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. God damn it! All right, boys, we're heading south. Double time! Shh! Everybody be quiet. Thank you for bringing us back, our little boy, and saving us from that man. I'm glad we found you. Here, take this. I wish I had more to give you, but we don't have much. We could take the cap stash, but it's stealing. And, um, well, McCready likes stealing, but I'm not sure if I'm sneaky enough right now. We actually want to go outside the house. Maybe it'd be better if we moved out of the radiation. Head towards these trees, and we're going to go to the Poseidon Energy Plant. They should be fighting the uh, gunners. There's raiders over here in this uh, energy plant, by the way. You're still alive. Taking my kills, fool. No, we'll just stand up. It's not that big of a deal. Safety off. I think we have company. A personal. Is you or me? Got him. Just loot inside here real quick, and then we'll head inside. There's going to be a master lock to be able to get in here. So hopefully everybody's lock pick is fairly high. Let's go ahead and pick the lock and go inside the piece. Uh, piece uh, oh my lord, the Poseidon energy plant. That's it. One of these days, I will learn how to talk. I promise. Take these two raiders out. There's going to be a raider with power armor in here, so be prepared. 
Let's actually take out the turret downstairs. What? Don't want that bothering us. Take out that mangy mutt. Show your face! Come on! I broke I dare you! I'm all over this! Time's up! I'm just getting started. Nice, we got a level. That's what I call a confirmed kill. We're in danger still? Oh, that's right. There's still another turret over here. We got the Poseidon energy key. Alright, now we're good. Let's just loot everything in here. It doesn't hurt. There's not too much in this room to loot. And the steamer trunk. And we get our yes. endurance bobblehead, which is good. That'll give us more health. And then the Tesla science. Hell yeah. And that's it. We can get the hell up out of here. So let's go back up where we started, which is not right there. It's over here. And then we take a left and go out the door. So I'll see everybody in just a second. Did we? Yes, we did. We did loot them. Then we're going to go down here, and now we need to make our way to a ship. I'm trying to show everybody that ship over there. I thought I was closer than what I was, but I guess not. Looted that guy already, too. Go straight out here. Make a right onto the road. Yeah, I guess I am a little bit further than I thought from the ship. On the ship, we're going to get the Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor magazine. And we're going to get our agility bobblehead, which will max out our agility. And that is a good thing. We'll be a little sneakier, and we'll have more um, action points and vats. So that's always nice. Every level, anyways, we do go up with uh, action points, health. I'm not sure if damage does. I don't think damage does. Let's go ahead and crouch. We're going to put on some rad X. And the reason why is because these barnacles that we'll walk by will spit out radiation. Maybe it'd be better if we moved out of the radiation. Yeah, I agree, bud. But there's not much that we can do. Now, is there McCready? Be careful for the Meyer Lurks. That's your first obstacle in this section. And we just got shot by our second obstacle. <laughs> so, Second obstacle is taking out the raiders that's up here. And I'm not sure, but they sound like they're German. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know the lore behind this ship. But it sounds like they're speaking German. And if you know, let me know in the comments. Because I'm not really sure. It would be much appreciated. Ooh, nice. I like the soft shell uh, Meyer Lurk meat.
And the reason why I like it is because it lets me make pa uh, cages. Not pages, cages. It is just not my day with words. I mean, I guess it could be Swedish or something like that, but it, it sounds German. And again, I don't know German, so I can't be for sure on that, but I don't know. It just sounds German to me. Take out the spotlight way down the way as well. Not that it matters. Everybody knows we're here. <laughs> it just makes me feel better, I suppose. Turn off this radio. Pick up the tales of a junk town jerky vendor. And then continue murdering some fools. Actually, it's not murder because they're the ones attacking me. I'm just defending myself. But then again, I am uh, encroaching on their territory. So, I don't know. Who's the real bad guy? Just saying. Got rags up here. I shot him in the head, but... There we go. Let's turn off this radio as well. So many radios in this episode today. Am I right? Loot a little bit here. There's not really much to loot. I'm pretty sure this uh, terminal... Oh, this terminal will uh, mess with the turrets. I don't know if there's any um, lore inside that terminal, but feel free to look in there if you want. Hell yeah. Grab the agility bobblehead. Then we'll take the dinghy on down. Oh, I guess we could have got off that way. Oh, well. We'll just keep going this way. There's a shed right there. That's where we're heading first. And then we'll go into Warwick. Did I see a jar of tar berries in the kitchen this morning? Maybe. How'd you come by that? That last trade had it. It was a steal, too. He said those ghouls up at the slog gave him a few extra jars to spread around for keep. Some kind of promotion, I guess. We should send them something, you know, to say thanks. Sure. I'll see what I can spare. Oh, wow. This is interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hope we can talk to her. I guess we can. <clears throat> I saw you working in the pump shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? Meow. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? Yep, should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Adam Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. You got it, lady. That <laughs> was interesting, to say the least. We're going to take some more Radex. We're going to go over to Spectacle Island. We have a few things to do there first. And then after that, we will head back to the Adam Cat's garage and end the episode. I know a little bit of the what was cut, cut content um, that just didn't make it into... Fallout 4, and one of them was a uh, mutated whale. I would be terrified of going to Spectacle Island if they put a mutated whale in the fucking water. Oh my goodness. I don't think I would ever come over here. I'd be like, well, we don't need that luck bobblehead anyways, right? Oh. 
Speaking of my alert kings. Well, I mean, we weren't just talking about it, but earlier we were. At least one had to show up in the video, right? We're going to go to this um, bottom part of the ship in a second. Or tugboat, whatever this is. Grab the luck yes. bobblehead. Come down here. Get ready. <coughs> oh, she came right up to us. That way it was easy to loot her body. How nice of her. Loot this Meyer Lurk. Now what we're going to do is we're going to follow these power lines and pylons over to um, a little shack. And in this shack is going to be another switch. We're going to pull it and uh, get all the Meyer Lurks off of Spectacle Island. I know that I said that I'm not going to show off every single um, settlement. And I mean it. I'm not. It just happens to be on the way Don't take long. The hell are they? <laughs> Can't take much more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of course I need to reload. God, that is a tough Meyer Lurk. Oh well, it's gone. What we did is we um, used sonar or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it, we did, but sound waves. And it um, scared all the Meyer Lurks off the island. So there is a story behind that and within the notes and whatnot. But I'm not going to go through it. For now, let's go ahead and go back to the Adam Katz garage. So Spectacle Island's right here. Adam Katz garage is over here. I don't feel like swimming through the water and get irradiated again. Actually, before we do that, let's put a level in. We uh, got a level earlier and we never used it. We'll put it into bloody, me bloody mess and then that'll be finished. And the next two we'll put into gun nut armor and then we'll start working on toughness now let's go ahead and fast travel to the adam cat's garage see everybody in just a second let's go ahead and talk to rowdy then we're gonna have to fight some gunners Rowdy. Oh, all done? Yep. You're gonna have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. That June is a doll, and her Myrler cakes are the most far-out thing I have ever tasted. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So we had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. Should we rustle his jimmies with something else? Crap! We got gunners coming in hot! Gunners! Not again! Won. Adam Katz! Let's stomp! Take out the Assault Tron. Or <laughs> the iBot. Ha <laughs> 
They are everywhere. Was that a minute, man? I don't know. No, it wasn't. They're just dressed. Weird, I guess. Let's go talk to Zeke. Zeke. Ugh, gunners! Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. It's you, Jack? Ho <laughs> ho ho! You slayed! Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. It was no big deal. No. You, you are out of sight. And a friend of the cats in my book. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah? Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Katz jacket. Wear it well, Jack. Well, that does it for the Adam Katz and also for this video. So with that being said, I want to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.